All right, guys, so the solar panels arrived today. It took about six, seven days, and uh, should be about 500 pounds or so. There they are. All right, guys, gonna be interesting. Put my knife away, I forgot. Got my knife. There goes one. Two panels, 80 pounds, a few more to go. And I'm just putting them inside the yard of anywhere. So I guess they use these little uh, pieces of uh, foam. All right, guys, these are the Snail Trail solar panels. That's a scratch there. Okay, so here's one of the first snow trails on this one. And here are the other ones that I missed. It's kind of hard to see right now that it's uh, cloudy. Move on to the second panel. As you can see, there's some scratching on there. Here's the other snow trail. The other one. And I'm gonna go back to the first one. As you can see, this one does show some uh, signs of moisture in there, some corrosion. Here's the third one. Same thing, some discoloration there. Here's the snail trail. And there's a lot of little scratches, you know, on the glass itself. Now you might get a solar panel with more uh, snow trails or less, more scratches or less. But again, these are 30, I paid about $33 for each panel plus freight. And this is a the ugliest panel I have, which is uh, pretty scratched up. You got some snow trolls here as well, across here. Here. And that's what to be expected was use solar panels, especially in the condition that I chose, which are the snow trolls. These were about 33 bucks, and the other ones, which include scratches, but might not have any of the snow trails, were about 40, 45 dollars at the time, and I think they recently dropped down to 39.99 on eBay. Here's the back side. I made sure to have all my uh, junction boxes on the on the on the top here. Trina Solar. Here's 
And I don't know that model number, the, the SS250P-60, if that's uh, the one Suntan Solar uses, or uh, Trina. But that's what you get. And this is my control. These are the first ones that I bought. I haven't even used them. They've just been there uh, collecting dust. This is going to be my control. So, if this produces 100 watts, which I know that's what I recorded before, 100 watts. And these produce, you know, a certain percentage. I can kind of get an idea how uh, degraded they are or, you know, how bad they are. All right, guys. Well, here's another uh, spot check I'm doing. I got two meters. One is on voltage. One is on amperage. And I'm testing two panels. So the voltage is uh, roughly about 32.4. And the amperage, I've seen 8.4, I believe, as a max. You know, a lot of uh, 7 amp, 7.5. But um, once the clouds moved out, it's been steady, 8.4. Maybe 8.5. Yep, 8.5. All right. And I got one lead here and one over there. So see you all later, guys. Bye-bye. All right, guys. Well, that's... Uh, All right, guys, it's going to be the end of the video here. So we're currently at 7.6 amps. 8.22 was our amp max. Minimum 1.9. And on the voltage, we're at 33.4. The max was 33.98. And the average 29. And the reason I'm going to stop this test is because there's a lot of cloud coverage and... I can get a constant reading, but 8.2 amps is pretty close to what they're rated at. And um, we'll keep on testing later on. You can see all the solar panels. There's 10 of them. One, two, three. 10 of them. Oh, I'm tired. See, these are the snail trail ones. Here on the vinyl there's some little bubbling here but nothing major nothing cracked these are uh trina solar i believe i pronounced it right and uh 250 watt rating and these are 24 volt and they're open voltage is 37.6 Hmm. Huh.